Today we're going to talk about the Libraries panel. In the first video on Gravit that I posted, I talked about the Layers panel being on the left-hand side, but I mentioned when I said it, I said the Layers panel for now is what we'll call it. And the reason I said that is because there's actually a couple of other tabs here. And so today we're going to talk about the Libraries panel. And this is the area where you can get graphics, vector-based graphics, that you can import into your artwork. And so each of these different sections has a series of graphics that can be pulled out onto your canvas. There's shapes, illustrations, icons. Some of these even have um, categories within the category. So for example, under icons, if I were to click on that, I would see all of the icons, but I could also go in and pick very specific ones, computer hardware, for example, or anything I really was uh, that might be available, food, okay? So you can take any of these items and you can bring them onto your canvas and you can resize them and reshape them with the pointer tool, just like you would a shape that you brought on from the shapes tools. The other thing is, because they are vector-based, meaning they are made of paths and points, if you go to subselect, you can click on different smaller aspects of your graphics that you bring in. For example, I'm clicking on this right-hand side of this apple, and you'll see there that the fill color is this sort of uh, tan color. I could adjust that if I wanted to and create my own uh, custom colors for these graphics. I could even take a very specific uh, portion of the graphic and I can click on it and move it around. So just like regular graphics that you create yourself, the graphics that are available from the libraries allow you to make customizations. The other neat thing is uh, under Unsplash Photos, which is Unsplash is a website that allows you to download photos for use in your own work that are royalty free, meaning that they're free to download and free to, to use. They're license, not licensed to anybody specifically. Um, but the unsplash photos that are here, the great thing about it is when you pick a shape, let's say for example, I, I drag this one out onto the screen. I'm gonna go back to my pointer tool. Um, I grab this one out onto the screen. I can look through my graphics, uh, my unsplash photos here, and I can pick a photo and it will appear inside the shapes that you make. And you can even go, obviously, you can modify those shapes as needed. And as you modify them, the graphic, as long as it fits in size-wise, it'll, it'll stay in there. And so uh, this is a nice collection of, of photos as well. So the rest of these are vector images. This one is photos. And if you wanted to do a search by the, the whole library, you can simply come into the top where the search window is and do something like, I don't know, penguins. Search for penguins, and I get this selection of not only the vector graphics that are penguins, but also any photos that might have penguins in them. So it's a really nice uh, ability to search for additional graphics for your artwork. Well, earlier when we talked about text, we had mentioned the idea that you can take text and turn it into a graphic and why that might be important. So I do wanna show you one thing here. Let's just take, for example, uh, a piece of text that you could then turn into a path, as you remember from last time. I convert that to a path and I can resize this let me make it nice and big. And because it is a path, now I can look at each of these individual pieces as, a, as an art piece. And so if I were to select these two letters out of the group of letters, I can get rid of them. And I can replace them with a graphic. So if I come in here, I do a search for cookie. This is a nice one here. I'll maybe bring that down in size. I'll hold my shift key so that I bring it down in size, but I don't change its proportions. Oops. And I want to make sure that I'm in my pointer mode. Maybe a little smaller. Okay. And make a copy of that and 
add one more. So just like that, I've created artwork that is symbolic of the word that I'm actually using. And so i just show you a couple of other examples of what you can do with graphics and text uh, to bring more meaning to whatever words you're trying to convey or whatever, whatever message you're trying to convey in the artwork that you're making. Okay, so hopefully you'll make some good use of the, the vector graphics that are here as well as the unsplash photos.